Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to another round of candle reviews here on my channel. And today we're going to tackle two Bath and Body Works scents. Um, I'm a little bit late to the game on reviewing these particular scents because they've been out for a few weeks now. And um, yeah, I am, I am just trying to get through as many as I can. <laughs> So I finally am to the point, the halfway point with these two Bath and Body Works candle reviews that are going up today. So um, up first, we obviously have the raspberries and whipped vanilla. And a little bit later on today is the uh, Prosecco frosting or, oh gosh, I can't remember what it's called now. Sorry, it's still in my living room. <laughs> so anyway, th that... Stay tuned. There's another review coming up a little bit later on today. Um, but let's go ahead and tackle this one here first. So um, there was a $12.95 candle sale this past weekend, and I did pick up three candles that I've never picked up before. I don't think I have, at least. Island Margarita was one of them, and I've never, I don't think I've ever burned that one. I don't think I've ever done a review on it, at least. So um, I've been curious about it. I'm kind of getting into those like uh, fruity summer drink type scents at this point, even though it's we're on spring break this week and it is raining, which I love. <laughs> but um, I am starting to come to terms with the fact that summer is coming and um, I'm trying to find some nice summery um, fun candles to I don't know, put me in the mood for the weather that I really actually don't enjoy. So, but anyway, so I almost picked up another raspberries uh, and whipped vanilla candle and I'm, I'm glad I didn't <laughs> because per usual at the halfway point, this candle is once again taken a little poop on me. Um, I'll show you guys here in a second what the issue is. It's it's my usual issue, so I'm not surprised. Um, I'm not surprised is what I'm going to just say. So let's talk about the fragrance itself. Let's talk about the description, what I smell, the strength, the throw. There There is some good to this candle, but there is also some bad to this candle. So let's get into it here. All right. Unfortunately, this one is now out of stock online, but like I just mentioned, I saw it at my local store still this past weekend. So if you want to pick this up, I think you're going to have to check out your local Bath and Body Works stores. Um, it's pretty readily available in my store still, so it might be in yours as well. If you want to take the risk, pick it up in store. Our fragrance notes here are pink raspberry, strawberry vanilla bean, and sugared lemon drops. Okay, first off, as far as like the fragrance itself goes, I give this like eight thumbs up. I love this scent. It is heavenly, it's sweet. Um, this is definitely a very girly, feminine, I don't know. This this is something that just reminds me of my daughter. Like whenever I light this candle, for some reason, like it just, just Stella pops into my head. <laughs> So I have a little girl, Stella, she's 10, and she is into all things unicorn, also anime, but um, she still loves pink and, you know, strawberries and raspberries are her favorite fruits. And um, it's just a very beautiful, girly, fun scent. So the fragrance itself is heavenly. I really do get that beautiful, like candied raspberry note the sugared like strawberry note that i get in here is also heavenly there is a definite undertone of a creamy like whipped vanilla as well and there is just that touch that little tiny touch of like a fresh meyer lemon like just that fresh squeezed juice from a meyer lemon meyer lemons are a little bit sweeter tasting than regular lemons and it's like that sweet but tart lemon note that I get in this and it's perfect. You guys, the fragrance itself is so good. I love the scent and that is why I almost picked up another one. Um, but I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna try to like get to the halfway point with the first one that I have and then see how it does. 
because this one does come with those famous Bath and Body Works tree stump wicks that I have just come to absolutely despise. And it seems like every single candle that I'm really personally drawn to, which is mostly the gourmands, um, Bath and Body Works is using those tree stump wicks on most of the gourmand candles. I don't know if that has to do with the formulations, the oils, or whatever it is, but every candle that I want has these types of wicks, and I just struggle with them, you guys, because the problem is they just, they dud out on me in the form of producing an insane amount of soot, and there are these weird little fibers um, that are falling into the wax. I'll show you guys what they look like here in a second. Um, but yeah, be before we get too much into the wick issue, the strength and the throw of this are also quite perfect, to be totally honest. Um, like there are some really great things about this candle. The strength is like a solid seven. The throw is also, again, like a solid seven. I would say almost borderline eight. This one really fills up a good chunk of the downstairs of my house and that's awesome for one three wick candle to fill up the bulk of the downstairs of my house is a pretty decent feat so i will always give it to bath and body works for creating um like house filling candles at least for like you know most average houses if you buy a Bath and Body Works candle and you live in like an apartment or a townhouse or like an older home that doesn't have like this open concept styling, the Bath and Body Works candles are going to be powerhouses for you. Um, it's just that their performance is such a letdown and it just kills me because it just, I keep getting disappointed every time and um, I don't return the candles, however, because what I choose to do is I just pop them in my candle crocks, which is where this bad boy is heading next. This is going into my candle crock in my master bedroom. Um, Craig is currently still out of town, and um, I don't think he would appreciate a fragrance like this in the bedroom, but I do. <laughs> so I'm going to pop it in there while he's gone. Um, and so, yeah, that's where this one is heading. If you don't know what a candle crock is, I will link my candle crock 101 video in the description box down below. And I will link a really fantastic neutral candle crock option for you that doesn't have any inspirational quotes or anything on it. Um, I think this is going to do just fine in the candle crock all of my Bath and Body Works candles do perfectly in the candle crock. So I don't think that I need to get my money back for this one, but it is... It is obnoxious that I am no longer able to, at this point in time, really finish very many of my Bath & Body Works candles burning them. I burn candles for two key reasons. The first is home fragrance. The second is ambiance. Um, I can't get the ambiance from a candle crock. I get the home fragrance, but I do not get the ambiance. So luckily I have lots of other candles and I have like the Luminara style candles to get the ambiance from. So. That's why I don't choose to return these when they dud out on me. I do get what I, at least half of what I want out of them by just putting them in the crock, but it's not my preferred method of finishing a candle. So let me show you guys what is happening with this bad boy with a view from the top here. Bear with me, I've got you on my tripod here. So um, let's, let's get over here. First off, you can see I'm starting to get some darkening over here on this side. But do you see what is in the wax? There's little tiny black fibers, which I'm fairly certain are just little fibers from the wicks that are falling off into the wax. It's discoloring the wax. And I am starting to, here, I'm going to put you guys back down here. I am starting to get to the point where I'm starting to smell a tiny bit of that. Um, it's almost like a burnt, it smells a little bit like a burnt candle. <laughs> like it just, it, like it has a smokiness to it that I do not love. So um, I'm definitely going to be blowing this out right after the video and I'm going to be putting it in the crock right away. In the crock, when I put these candles in here after they get that kind of like smoky note to them, it typically doesn't translate uh, in the crock. It, it continues with that original delicious like raspberry, strawberry, vanilla, 
touch of lemon type fragrance. So it's going to, it's going to be just fine there. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's sad. It's another disappointment. And it's just, I love the packaging of this one. It's very plain, very simple, borderline boring, right? But just this like beautiful pale, like blush pink, um, glass with the gray. Oh, you guys know how I feel about gray. I mean, look at my hair. <laughs> with that gray label with that simple white it just it speaks to me i am a woman of two extremes i love really over the top gaudy fancy things and then i love really simple things <laughs> there really is no in between with me it is like one or the other and this one is a perfect perfect example of my aesthetic in terms of the the beautiful simple things that i tend to gravitate towards but yeah, you guys, I would say if you find it in store and you're someone who normally melts your candles anyway, it's worth picking up for the fragrance alone. But if you're looking to buy this to burn it past the halfway point, if you're fine with the soot, if you're fine with the fragrance changing slightly because of like the wick droppings or whatever you want to call them, um, by the way, I'm not trimming these wicks at all. Um, there's really no need to. They do not form mushroom tops. Um, I have also, by the way, tried wiping the wicks with a tissue, which is something that I mentioned in one of my recent uh, uh, Kringle Candle videos. Um, I've even tried wiping the wicks with a paper towel before lighting them, but it just doesn't really seem to make a difference. No matter what I do, and, and what I'm showing you here, that is after wiping the wicks so it's it's just weird like i don't know i don't know why they don't want to resolve this i mean i guess it's because and you know my friend denise said this in one of my last bath and body works candle reviews is we keep buying the candles so there is no incentive for them to change right like if they keep pushing the prices up and the quality continues to, I don't want to say go down because it went down a long time ago. It just has been consistently low. So if we continue to get this consistent low quality and we're still buying them despite the price hikes, then what is their incentive to change? There really isn't. So, but it's hard because they're so easily accessible. It's, just, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, it just is what it is, I guess. <laughs> we just deal with it and move forward and continue to get excited about the new scents that they come out with from time to time and we all pick up our favorites and you know I know a lot of people are already starting to get excited about like summer and fall to see what's coming around then and yeah it's just there's a constant hype right the home fragrance world has exploded you guys it has just exploded and there just is no real incentive especially for bath and body works with the market share that they have to improve the product because well like i said we're all still buying it so anyway thanks for tuning in <laughs> ending to the video if you're curious about my thoughts on the uh second bath and body works candle that i have to review here this one's doing slightly better this next one um so yeah make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you love candle reviews and um yeah see if you can find this in your local store i'd love to link it for you guys um but yeah it's it's not available on the website anymore so have a great one and i'll see you in the next video take care Toodaloo.